Hi everyone, today I'm going to introduce you how to convert negative 13.75 into IEE 754 format. In IEE 754 format of 32 bit system, you represent it like this. The sign bit usually store the sign of the number, of the floating number that we want to convert. Okay? So if it's negative, you would put 1 in here. If it's positive, then the sign bit will be 0. And then we are going to store the exponent bit or the bias form. We are going to look at what is exponent bit letter. And then we are going to store the remaining fraction bit in here. The fraction bit is also known as mantissa. So in totally, 1 plus 8 bit plus 23 bit result in 32 bit. So the first step is we are going to convert this part into binary format and also the decimal part into binary format. The two process is a bit different. I'm going to show you how is it different. So when we convert 13 to binary, it's just a, like how you usually do it. So first we use 13 divided by 2. If 13 divided by 2, the remainder is 1. And then we get 6. We divide by 2 again. And then we get remainder of 0. Okay, remainder of 0, then we divide by 2 again, and then we get remainder of 1. And if we divide 2 again, then we get the remainder as 1. So to read this right, it's actually 1101. So let's write it down first, 1101. So now let's look at how to convert the decimal part into binary. The process is a bit different, so I'm going to show you how is it different. First, we write down 0 0.75. And then we are going to multiply it by 2. So let's draw true border. One border is going to record the result of the multiplication. And if the result of multiplication is more than 1, we are going to minus it and then repeat the process to multiply by 2. 0 0.75 multiplied by 2 would be 1.5. So let's record down as 1 because here is 1. And then let's minus 1. After we minus 1, we get 0 0.5. So we multiply by 2 again. And then when we finally get the result as 1, then we can record the result as 1. And for this part right, we are going to read the direction in downwards direction. Okay. So to combine it together, it's going to be 1101.11. We are going to convert it to a process, something like scientific notation. So let me show you what do I mean. If we move 3 decimal places to the front, then the result will be 1.10111 times 2 to the power of 3. Okay? We haven't finished yet up until here. We are going to use this exponent to record it to the exponent bit. To record it to the exponent bit, we need to add 127. If all the exponent bit of these fields are set to 0, then the floating point number is actually 0, 0.0. If all the bits of exponent field are set to 1, and all the bits of the fraction part are 0, then the floating number is infinity. Okay. If all the bits of exponent fields are set to 1, and all the bits of the fraction parts are not equal to 0, then the floating number is NAN. Okay? We are going to use 127 add with 3. So the answer is 130. And then we are going to convert 130 to binary form. Finally, we can write down the answer in here. So because the sign is negative, so the sign bit is 1. And then the exponent bit is 1, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 1, 0. And then the fraction bit is actually, we don't look at this number 1, we are going to only look at this. So it's 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, and then followed by 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, so on.